Now, iOS 10 is a huge release for developers, and it is the biggest iOS release ever for our users. That's user experience. Now, in iOS 10, we've redesigned the experience of the lock screen with rich notifications that give you quick interaction with apps through the expanded use of 3D Touch. But rather than just talk about it, how about I just show it to you right now? Let's do a demo. Now, one thing a lot of us have noticed now that we have our iPhone 6s with the incredibly fast Touch ID sensor is that we can just blow past our notifications on our lock screen. We never even get to see them. And so in iOS 10, we have a great solution. It's called Raise to Wake, and it lets you see what's on your lock screen without ever touching a button. Let me show it to you now. I just raise my wrist, and my phone wakes up just like that. Now, the first thing you'll notice is these beautiful notifications are no longer causing us to darken the, uh, your wallpaper, so you get to look at that. But what's more important is they're really interactive through 3D Touch. So for instance, with this calendar notification, I can just 3D touch on it. I can jump right in and get all this rich detail about this uh, invitation. I can see my calendar, and I can accept it right here. Now, this is especially great with messages. Let's 3D touch into that one. And here you see, I see the message that was sent to me. I can respond right here, the keyboard. But what's great is I can stay in the conversation right here on the lock screen and even get rich responses like images right in line. And this works really well with third-party apps as well. So for instance, if I get a notification from Uber, I can just press in and I get this completely interactive and animated live status update on my car as it comes in. It's really great. Now, of course, as always, you can get your notifications right here from the top of the screen. But now, with 3D Touch, if you want to clear them, you can just press in and clear them all with a tab. It's really great. Now, Control Center is available from the bottom of the screen as well. We can just swipe up from the bottom. See, it's beautifully redesigned. Gives me great access to all my controls. But if I swipe over, you see we have a special area for our music with nice big controls and beautiful album art right there. Now, we made it easier than ever to get at your camera from the lock screen. So I can just slide over from the right, and there's my camera. And it's easy to take a picture of my demo notes, right there. That's good. And we made it easier than ever to get at your widgets. Just slide over the other way. You can see I have my weather, I have my calendar, I get my news, top stories. And you notice these widgets have the ability for me to get more information. So I can do show more and see the, uh, the rest of my day, uh, you'd like to think. And I can even get more information right here from apps on my home screen. So for instance, it looks like I have a decent number of unread email messages. And now, if I 3D touch there, I can see who it is I've been ignoring this whole time, my VIPs. Now, if I swipe over here, I can also get great information on activity without even launching the app. I just 3D touch in and get a look at my rings. And this can work really well with third-party apps as well. So I'm going to jump into ESPN and see information about my latest team. And if I want that widget available to me at all times on my Today View, I can just add that widget like that. And I go over to my Today View, and there it is. And I can get that show more information. And you see I get a graphical update on the highlights from the last game. And if I tap in, live action. Oh yeah, so that is a quick look at the new lock screen and home screen experience in iOS 10. You have a beautiful new control center, interactive notifications, and great ways to use your widgets. It's great on the iPhone and the iPad as well.